Good evening. Well, as you can see, the sun is, uh, as you leave that, the sun is about to set behind me. It's about half an hour. Let's see. It's about half an hour to go. So I'm going to pitch the MLD. That must be about 10 seconds. Super mid. I brought a super mid today. I'm in the same area as before. Um, we'll skip over. Not walking too far. Time. Okay, that's that all done. Uh, so we're in a similar area to uh, before. Uh, before I was just down in that little valley, just that, just down here. Uh, I was walking across here, saw this little flat area here, and thought, okay, let's. Uh, even though it's the same area, we'll we'll just pitch somewhere different. And uh, where I normally pitch, which is somewhere over there, I wouldn't get the super mid in there. So obviously, I was here with Dina in the. Uh, summer, so I knew there was a space down there that would take the super mid. But so I was coming across here, so I thought, saw this space, let's take it for something half of one millionth of a percent different. <coughs> okay, well, basically, I've uh, hit record. I don't know what you can see or hear, but we'll see in a minute the wind is coming in sort of this direction from the south so i pretty much want this spot here <laughs> you can't see it but it's right by this cow pat to be kind of yeah. careful where i'm putting that I kind of want that to be the back. And that's it, leave the cow, cow stuff. Got to keep it a PG rated DVD recorder video thing. A very basic sort of pegging out for the moment just to get it uh, lined up. It's funny, I, when I. <coughs> When I see a piece of land, I think, well, that would be uh, perfect for the super mid. And then I start pitching the super mid, and it's kind of at that time when I realize just how big this thing really is. And I'm still talking about the super mid at the moment. Okay, I do a couple of minor adjustments because to pitch it nicely you want to have it as square because obviously this is square as square as possible so it's, it's almost square but not not entirely because if you if you look here it's sort of you know angled slightly that way and then Mind you, that, <laughs> that was like so anyway, we can't take anything from that. So I, th I think this is actually going to come out in the wash. So let's put, we'll put the camera there. Move you a bit nearer. Let's, uh, we'll get my pole, which I, I erected just earlier. So this is the pole. You've got bless pole. So we'll just undo that, stick it up inside. Times like this when I'm uh, uh, later on, time to have a flash. Anyway, enough of that. It's, <laughs> it's the times like this that I uh, kind of realise how how nice it is to have such a big one. <laughs> of course, I know what you're saying. Don't do your zip up until, you know, you've tensioned everything up. But in my defense here, nothing's actually, you know, really tight. So that's like my excuse for that. Okay, so 
that's a very basic setup. We now need to lower. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. You've got to be careful that you don't lose your pole. Okay, because I want the back a bit lower, I'm just going to lengthen that one off and then I'll be able to make the back a bit lower. The wind's coming this way, so it doesn't worry me if the front is, is a bit higher. And I'll be lying with my head, I'll be lying with my head at sort of that end. So ideally I sort of want the back lower. I might actually just make a minor adjustment here. And here, just to get this lower there and there. Tighten that up, get that straight. But the wind is pretty much coming from this direction, sort of pretty much from here here this this kind of side so I've pitched it that this side here is low to the ground I've pitched it so that that side is fairly low to the ground or low to the ground this side where my head will be is raised up or will be raised just ever so slightly but it's, it's downwind so you know it that's fine it doesn't matter and then the front is just raised up you know ever so slightly not much so i'm just going to finish pegging this out by using one peg for you know that bottom line and the top line that also makes it you know a little bit higher here if you actually used a second peg so if you use a separate peg for here then you could actually peg this you know not necessarily to the ground but again much lower than this so you know this really is actually a very very um, you know for what it is adjustable shelter the area where my head would be you know is you know stacks and stacks of room and again by using the one peg system it just raises you know the middle you know a little bit but again I'm I'm, I'm fine with that that's just not a problem right so now you can pretty much see me so as you see you probably can't see all of me but I know other shelters are very nice they all have their place and obviously the trail star tops anything in bad weather but just nothing but nothing is better than this it's light and it's just so much space and yes I could have changed the pegging a little bit and I, I may still alter over here I'll see once I've got everything set up inside but it is just so let's get that a bit straighter it is just so no you just got so much you can actually do I bet there's not many people especially men who can do a pole dance and not get dizzy inside their tent so you can actually pole dance in here so and no no one's sticking a fiver down my bum hole <laughs> we've done our pole dancing in the end I've actually pitched it more by accident it certainly wasn't uh, deliberate I've, I've slightly pitched it where that uh, 
cowpat is, but never mind. That's okay. So, and again, obviously the weather today is clear and it's a very warm day. I've brought my very warm sleeping bag and it might actually be a bit too warm, uh, maybe. But uh, anyway, let's go and get some pegs. Just pitch out the grain sheet. Or peg out the grain sheet, whichever you want to call it. Again, this time of the year, this time of the year, and indeed even if the weather was pretty poor, I wouldn't uh, bother with, with a bivy or anything like that. I just, uh, it's just, it's just not needed. You just don't need it in these shelters. Actually, I just remembered one thing that Ron did do on this one. Just he put a little tie-out point in the corners, and that looks absolutely perfect. And probably on a very slight slope, to be honest, but. Uh, that, uh, that looks very nice. So, unless something happens, I will leave it pitched and pegged exactly like this. So that's with the ground sheet sort of pitched, stroked, pegged out inside there's no rain forecast and I don't need this door open I keep this door um, pulled across mainly for you know to give Lassie some cover over there but this door here I will open and probably leave this open all night. So that's the setup just there. It's now it's ten past four. Hello. It's oh, don't forget if you're still watching and you haven't, you haven't disappeared yet, um, don't forget to subscribe and and press the bell thing to watch. You know next month's instalment. I forgot to say it right at the very beginning, but I thought I'd say it now <laughs> rather than at the very end. So that's it. So we'll set up inside next. It's it's the 10th of December. Yes, the 10th of December, and it's unbelievably mild. It it, it really is. You know, you could almost stay outside. You know for a while it, it really is that nice i'm going to get inside because it's just more convenient for doing everything in the dark i think by myself but uh you know if there were two of you and you wanted to sit outside um you know for a bit in the dark you'd be uh yeah you'd be okay for a while okay well we're uh, set up inside it's uh just coming up to well 20 to 5. so it's still some light outside and I was just sitting, uh, you know, in this mammoth <laughs> shelter. I really am, there definitely is a bit of a slope in here. I'm going to have to put something under my head because my head is definitely a bit lower than, than my feet, which is not ideal. Of course, you could lie with your head at the other end, but I lie on my right, cook on my right, so I've got to be on this side. I'm just very uncomfortable if I lie on that side. It just doesn't work for me. So I put my coat um, and I'll find something else to go under, under my head and that will just lift the front of the pad up a bit. So that's uh, not a problem at all. 
Um, yeah, I just wanted to sort of, you know, just show you around in, in here. It's just, it's just insanely huge in in here. I've taken the, I mean, I've got this camera. This is on the widest setting, and you know, you can just hear there. That's the back of the shelter, but here there's. <laughs> It's just a door there. There's just you know, it's just space there. So you can see I've got you know an absolute ton of headroom here. You know, above me I can sit up. I can't even from here. I can't even touch the ceiling. There is you know there is that much room in here. Um, again, obviously, if you, you know if you had someone else, you'd you know you'd have to make a few compromises of course uh, this really is for for two people but for its weight and 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 pack size you know for one person it's just i i, I have to say it's the trail star is still probably my number one and if i only had one shelter it would probably still have to be the trail star simply because of if the weather was really bad then I'd want the low profile protection of the trail star. Uh, but if you take that out of the equation, and I, and I still think that this would stand up to quite a hammering, um, I have to say that this is just, it's just incredibly amazing in here. And, and if the weather is, you know, anything but, you know, awful, I just don't know why you'd want to use anything else. I know you're probably thinking, well, why would you take the tarps or why would you take the Acto or anything like that? I do that just, you know, because it's nice to have something a bit different, something to play with, just a sort of something different for me, something to show you out there, the viewer, what, what else there is possible, you know, to use. This is just insanely good in here. You know, I've, I've got so much room back here. And again, you know, I've not got the, the inner thing here, so I've got all the space for myself here. You know, as I say, obviously if Dina was here, then, you know, I'd probably sleep this side of the pole just to give her space in, in here. But, uh, you know, even then, there's just so much room in here. It really is just an incredible shelter. And I know some people, they like the... Um, the Duomid XL. The Duomid XL gives the same amount of space behind the pole as this shelter, but it gives us. But the space in front of the pole here <laughs> is is the same as the uh, as the Duomid. So it's like you know one person um, wide, and I'm sure that for many people it is excellent. Um, again, for the tiny bit of extra weight. I would still go with with this. If there's one of you and you don't have a dog, hello. If there's one of you and you don't have a dog, or you're very happy for your dog to trample all over everything, the Duomid XL is probably a very very good choice. Um, but I still prefer Lassie to have her own um, space. That's that's one reason why I tend not to use the Duomid so much because first of all. The space that I'm in is a bit limited, although I probably ought to use it again sometime just to compare it to the the Acto. But yeah, the space sort of you know that that, that you use um, as a 